Hello, Christian. I hope you're doing well. Uh, well, this is a, not a breaking news story, story anymore because it happened on the 24th and 25th of this month, which is Monday and, and Tuesday. But Professor Simon Holland has a YouTube channel that talks about uh, every aspect of the phenomenon and the hidden technology from a scientific standpoint, because uh, I did some digging on what, what the professor does or did. Apart from his YouTube channel, he worked for BBC Science. He worked for the Discovery Channel for the Science Division. He worked for PBS. And he's basically one of those science communicators like Neil deGrasse Tyson, Brian Cox, but he's on the other side of the spectrum. He's on the side of scientists who actually like to look at all the data before making any uh, conjectures or assumptions or, or, or any decisions on what they're looking at. And that encouraged me to keep watching his videos. This video in particular is, uh, in my view, one of the biggest stories of the month or maybe the year. Uh, he talks about the SETI at Home program, which was a software from the early 90s that people had in their, in their home, and it served as an antenna to search for extraterrestrial signals. But um, Carl Sagan invented uh, this uh, alongside another uh, scientist, and they basically used people to try to gather data with the little capacity computers had at the time, okay? So what the... Um, the professor talks about is that this data um, was used with certain parameters by the Americans, by this SETI, which is Search for Extraterrestrial Life. It's an initiative made by scientists that I thought was only uh, from the Americans. But as it turns out, there are many SETIs around the world. And one of these SETI uh, places from the Italians uh, discovered not just one, but 18 different signals through the Doppler effect. That's how they made sure it wasn't just like a, a, a non-important kind of signal because it was Doppler. If it's Doppler, you know Doppler, how it goes like, like the ambulance. It goes uh, a little louder first, then it goes the loudest, and then it, it fades away into the distance. And that's how you can find a specific point in time through the Doppler effect. That's what they found. But uh, the professor talks about uh, these new findings on the SETI uh, European Union system, which is apparently spending billions of euros to make an investigation on these signals that were discovered. And some of these signals are actually modulated, which means they are intelligent signal, signals. So the doctor is basically saying that uh, they found a signal from a planet that is from another intelligence. So uh, this, this, is, this professor, I'm sorry, Professor Simon Holland, um, he spoke to one of his sources who is uh, inside the funding of this project at EU SETI. And this person only revealed him a little bit of information. And essentially he told the professor that the, the data were, was images, pictures from a different place in the universe. He didn't say much else on that, but I started digging and I did reach out to the professor and he was gracious enough to grab me an interview. I am interviewing him tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific. And then I'm just editing the video quickly and just putting it out there on my channel on Psicoactivo. As soon as we have it, I'm going to try to spread it all over and we can talk about whatever he tells me in tomorrow's episode if you want. But if this story is... As big as I think it is, it should be front news everywhere, and it's not. And that's something that I want to 
inquire a little bit more about with the professor because I mean, he does have a, a fairly sizable YouTube channel and he does check out on his credentials. He is who he says he is. So I'm thinking that he does have, he is privy to firsthand information. And that's why I, I reached out to him to speak about this. So I'm really excited. I think the people should be excited about what he has to say. I've already asked people to ask questions on a, on a tweet. I sent and let's see what he tells us. But this is about as far as my report goes, Christian, back to you. Thank you.